Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to look up the nth value with VLOOKUP and a helper cell. Now, if you aren't familiar with VLOOKUP, then check out my video that I've linked here as it will break it down and provide you with everything that you need to know. Additionally, I am going to be providing some tips and tricks along the way, so be sure to stick around in this video till the end. All right, let's nerd out. So at Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, we have a table with our payment receipts for our dog boarding reservations. As you will see, we have multiple receipts uh, for the same reservation. VLOOKUP will always return the first value. In this instance, we are going to create a helper cell, which will enable us to look up the second, the third, the fourth, or whichever value you need. Okay, so in the helper cell column, we are going to create the count if formula. So the first criteria is a range, um, which we are going to go B4, B4. And the next item is the criteria, which in this instance is also B4. Now I am going to put a closing bracket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this first B4 press F4 and make that an absolute value. You will see this come together in just a moment. So now that we've got that in, let's double click and pull this down. So as you can see that this first B1 is showing a one, this second is showing a one, but then when we go down here, we've got PB1 and two. So that is now saying, hey, this PB1 already exists, so this is the second one within this range. So you'll see that that formula has locked on the B4 at the top, and then now it has adjusted to correspond to the cells below. Okay, so now that we know that that count if formula is working, we can build from it. And this is something that I always recommend, is when you are building formulas, whether simple or more complex, if you start off small and test it as you go, then you can help eliminate any issues or troubleshooting at the end. So we are now going to put the and sign, then quotations, a space, quotations, and the and sign. Now, if you aren't familiar with this and sign and quotation mark combination, uh, it is a great tool. It's something that I use all the time in Excel and it is used to combine data from two cells into one. Now we're going to click on B4 again and hit enter. So you'll see that now we are showing one PB1. And if we drag that down, now we have a unique item number corresponding to the reservation number, which is going to allow us to use the VLOOKUP form. To start off, we are once again going to replicate this helper cell format. So to do that, we are going to go G7, um, ands, quotations, space, quotations, and the and sign again. Now you will notice that I have the nth values or the payment receipt number in a separate column. So. If you wanted, you could build it into this formula so that it wasn't separate, but I find that if you keep it separate, then it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So you can easily just update that cell and then it's going to return that value in the lookup formula. Whereas if you embed it into the formula, then you're gonna go back and edit the formula, which can just get a little bit sticky. So keep it separate is my trick. So now we need to add the reservation number and I am going to press F4 to make that an absolute value so that when I drag the formula, it's not going to change. So the next item is going to be the table array. Now you will notice that I have defined the table range in this formula. So I highlighted all the data and I inserted a table and give it a nice easy to read title. This not only makes your formula easier to read and to navigate, but it also makes sure that if you add rows to that data set, then you know that all of those items will be included in your formula. 
So it kind of helps eliminate any errors down the road and also just makes things look nice and clean along the way. Next item is the column index number. And so in this instance, we are pulling the value under receipts. So we're going to be one, two, three, four, five. And the last item is the range lookup. I want this to be an exact match, so I'm going to enter zero for false. Up here, we are able to select the drop down and select a different reservation number. Um, and once again, we can see that these values are pulling correctly. If you are interested in learning how to create this fancy drop down list, and then please stay tuned for a video on data validation. All right, so that wraps up this video, and I do hope that I have helped you learn how to look up the nth value using VLOOKUP and a helper cell. If you are interested in learning about that uh, data validation, then I will link that at the end of this video as soon as it's ready, so be sure to check that out as well. I hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today, so thanks for nerding out with me, and we'll see you again. Mm -hmm.